now to an arrest in a nearly 40-year-old cold case involving the brutal murder of an 18-year-old Iowa woman. It's all thanks to cutting-edge DNA technology. ABC's Maggie Ruley has the latest on the Cedar Rapids murder. A stunning arrest nearly four decades later. We can close this case, this tragic case that's been haunting this community for 39 years. The suspect appearing before a judge for the first time today via a video conference. 64-year-old Jerry Lynn Byrne is now being held on a $5 million cash bail. Police believe almost 39 years ago to the day, Burns attacked 18-year-old Michelle Martinko, brutally stabbing her to death inside her car in an Iowa mall parking lot after her choir practice. Her parents didn't get to see this day come, and her sister is still alive and well. It's still great, you know, to finally hear those words that we've been wanting to say for so long. You know, they caught him. DNA discovered by investigators in 2006 went unmatched for nearly 10 years until late last year when Parabon Nano Labs used that sample and predictive analysis to create 3D models of what they believed the suspected killer's face would look like today. The police department later collected covert DNA from a subject. The collected DNA was a match. The lab says it also uploaded that DNA to a public genealogy database, identifying distant relatives that helped them narrow in on the suspect. It's a technique that's led to a number of high profile arrests in just the past few months. This is a breakthrough in crime solving and allow law enforcement to focus in more quickly on the right people. Police say Burns has denied killing Miss Martinko, but that when questioned, he could not come up with a plausible explanation for why his DNA was found at the crime scene. Maggie Ruley, ABC News, New York.